Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, today, we're gonna be taking out those diamonds that we stacked yesterday. I managed to get three more to spawn after the stream, after about another hour of grinding, and I think that's the most we're gonna get, because it got to a point where I was just shooting uh, the same, like, level six and seven and eight stags over and over and over again, and couldn't get any more level nines to spawn, so I think we've reached the limits of what our map will allow at the moment. At least, uh, well, I'm sure we could probably get more, but it would take hours so we're just gonna go with what we have and uh, take them all out oh no Durky that's not good hey Kermit hey Johnny uh, hey Julie T-Rex Hunter Jace uh, revive Sykes take me outdoors Isaac Knox wreck or uh, Rhett faded uh, Hawk TJ Porter Drake I think I saw Sam in there earlier as well how's everybody doing uh, okay, we need to change the time. It is time to take out all of those diamonds, though. Or diamond potentials. There's definitely a couple that could troll. And then there's also a couple that will troll. But we have 18 level 9s. There we go. There's three of the legendaries. And a mythical and a six. Okay, Sam, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely uh, try to remember to remind you about that. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna need y'all's help to keep count, because there's no way that I can keep count of all of these. So let's see how this will go. 18 level 9s in one run stacked over the course of three days. It is finally time to take all these giants out. There's definitely a couple that are not here yet, so we'll have to take a second run, but let's, uh... Get those two down. That guy is a guaranteed troll, so I think we'll just blast him with the 300. Yeah, there he goes. Let's also get that mythical if we can. True Doom guy, true man. That uh, would definitely be correct. I can agree with that one. Nice Kermit, that's awesome dude. Alright, so we will uh, claim these others as well. I'm gonna try a bunch of different things today. So we're gonna claim everything I shoot. Uh, along with the nines, last time we only shot the nines and then recovered them all back to back, but I'm gonna shoot the other stuff as well. Uh, no Wesley, no video today as I have been very busy recording and editing uh, Way of the Hunter content for when I'm allowed to post those videos. Level 9, number 1, 241 is actually big for the troll rack. Uh, 241 is not bad at all. Now let's uh, keep on zooming. Let's see if we can get these uh, other level 9s. They shouldn't have gone too far. Both were vital hits, so I think we should be okay. Yeah, me too, T-Rex. I have been really loving the game. I have been absolutely enjoying the crap out of Way of the Hunter. And honestly, the more I played it, the more I think it might end up being my favorite hunting game. I wish I could share more, but unfortunately I can't uh, talk too much about it. Here we go. 25340. That is diamond number one. Level nine number two. Let's move along. Let's try to find the other one. Because this other one is going to be the biggest of all of these. Riptide, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Uh, what's up, Crow? I'm back. Way of the Hunter 1 to 10? Hmm. So, obviously we're still pretty early. I've put about 25 hours into the game as of now. 
And I'd say that it's probably an, maybe a 7 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10 right now. Uh, obviously, any new release is going to have a few things that need to be changed. And if they can change a few things, then it'll definitely be a top game for me. 265.70. That is a big, big red deer. But not tax worthy. Let's continue on. I know we have a level 9 down here. Oh yeah, definitely Riptide. It is everything that they have talked about. Like, that is the one thing I can say. Everything that they have said about Way of the Hunter, when it comes to like what the game will be like, they've been 100% genuine with it. They have not lied about anything. Which is awesome. It's great to see transparency. They've been completely honest with everybody with like what the game is going to be like, the stuff that's going to be in it. So that is something I can say, because obviously, like, that type of stuff's already been revealed. Do not bounce into the water when I fast travel. I swear, if it bounces into the water... Hey, Nolan, how's it going, dude? What company made Way of the Hunter? So it's developed by Nine Rocks Games and published by THQ Nordic. Is the scoring weird? I can't really talk about the scoring. I mean, they explained in their, um, in one of their trailers that it, it or one of their dev diaries. Ooh, oh my god. Gosh, that's huge. 259.50 for this rack. Okay, that one's getting taxed. That is not a common thing to see. A 259 with this rack? Wow. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. Well, we've already got a special stag for the day. That is pretty awesome. We're just out here smoking all these stacked diamonds and we get one that's actually tax worthy? What? Oh yeah, it's going great, Johnny. It's going great. There's that seven. Okay, this is where the majority of our level nines are. Is it this lake? Um, I can't really talk too much about that, Julie, but... Uh, I will definitely, I can definitely say that Way of the Hunter and Call of the Wild are nothing alike. They are nothing alike. Way of the Hunter takes a much more realistic approach than Call of the Wild does. Call of the Wild will always be like the, uh, the more arcade style experience. And then Way of the Hunter is going to be more for the people that want realistic gameplay. Alright, here we go. Three level nines bunched up. Plus a level 9 over there. That is the troll. Yes, please fall down. Ah, oh, he didn't fall down. I was really hoping he would. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's uh, get this guy. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely not going to be a game for people that want fast gameplay, I can tell you that. If you get bored with Call of the Wild sometimes, then it probably won't be the game for you. But if you want stuff that is super realistic and just looks incredible, Way of the Hunter is definitely going to be a good game for y'all. Yeah, sadly, it's not going to be on PS4. It's PS5, Xbox Series, S and X, and PC. 
They went with uh, current gen consoles only. I imagine it was probably for financial reasons, as the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are kind of, uh, they're starting to get old, so they're going to start losing support for a lot of games, and eventually everything's going to move over to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X, and then eventually those consoles will go out of date, so I think they're just focusing on the newest console so it has a longer lifespan. Here we go. What is this? It's a 265. Not bad. So that is diamond number four. Level nine, number five. Two sixty three max weight. Yeah, that's a big one right there. But once again, the score wasn't as big as the weight. So moving along, that would be what number Number six? Hold on, let, let me count again. One, two, three, four, five. I think that was five. Here's the guaranteed troll. This guy is the wonky dude, 253. So he ended up making diamond as well. That should be seven. Oh, you're right. We could just check the codex. That's right. Um... Latest harvests. Three, four, five, six. Okay, we got six. We've harvested six of them so far. And I think that was all for this zone. Yeah, it was definitely all for this zone. So we got six diamonds and two trolls so far. This guy should be pretty solid. And then that guy is way far back for some reason. This guy is kind of tucked behind the, the hind. Excuse me, guys. Can you move? Dude, he's literally not moving. <laughs> he didn't move at all. Literally did not move at all. Oh, now you move. Oh, okay. Now you move. Sure. Not sure we got that one, but it's whatever. He knows it's coming. He definitely does. Oh, did neither of those hit vitals? Okay, that one actually did. Um, I think I hit in between the lungs on this guy. Yeah, I definitely hit in between the lungs. Thanks, Call of the Wild. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, now he's turning around. There we go. Got him down. So, will this be diamonds number seven and eight? I guess we'll see. Oh, yeah, Johnny. They definitely need to fix it. It is so nice to finally see all these legendaries get taken down after three days of stacking them. Um, hold on. I think I missed a super chat, actually. Uh, I apologize. Um, Kevin Creeder, thank you so much for the two super chats. Use bows only on first to a diamond, please. Oh, on the first to a diamond series? Uh, we could possibly do that. That could be kind of a fun way to mix it up. And, uh, thank you for the super chat. I apologize that I missed it the first time. I got so focused on these level nines that I just, uh, completely missed the super chat. But thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that. That's very generous of you. Sorry for not uh, getting to it in time. 
both of them will make it, I bet. I hope so. I think they should. Here we go. Is this diamond number seven? It is 26680. Uh, not quite tax worthy though. And we did hit in between the lungs. Wow. That's just rude. Call the Wild is just rude. Like, come on, man. Right in between the lungs, really? Oh well, that is diamond number seven. Hey, CJO, how is it? How's it going, dude? Hopefully you're doing good. Yeah, I know, sir. It's uh, unfortunate that they have it like that. Hopefully, they'll fix it at some point. And another diamond. That is diamond number eight of the run. We're uh, making pretty good numbers so far. Eight diamonds, two trolls. Doing good, doing good. There should be one more here. Couple sevens, a six. Where's that last nine? Um, looks like he's not here yet. All right, we'll go to this lake. This one has a few nines. I believe this one has like six nines. Uh, it's random chance, Landon. It's random chance. And you got to realize there's a ton of people in the chat. I can't just see every single message and read all of them off. You got to you got to remember there's a lot of people in here besides you and I'm not going to be able to read every single message. So you got to give me time, man. Don't act so entitled to a reply when there's so many people in here. If I see your message, then I see your message. It's not like I'm purposely trying to ignore you. All right, here we go. Beautiful next shot. That's two. There's our third one. And the troll. I know, right? Call the wild montages. It's crazy, right? Gotta love stacking, man. Yeah, exactly, T-Rex. Like, there's a ton of people in here. I can't possibly reply to every single message or else I wouldn't even be able to hunt. I'd just be reading it the entire time. Troll number three. 240.40. Yeah, back to what I was saying. It's random for the Great One respawn. You could literally get a Great One from anything you kill. Any buck that you kill could come back as a Great One. That's why you'll see numbers like 900 with nothing, and then somebody gets it for like 50. It's just a part of the game. It's just the RNG factor. Another diamond. Diamond number 9. 255.80. That's actually a decent diamond for the small rack. Not bad. So we're at nine diamonds and three trolls now. Uh, Kevin, thank you so much for the super chat again, dude. <laughs> One more because Crow is mad. I'm not mad, just some people don't think of, about the fact that there's a lot of people in here. And I can't possibly respond to every single message. I think sometimes people forget about that. I'm only human. I can only reply to as many chats as I can see before they disappear off of the screen. 255.60, that's number 10. Diamond, number 10 of the day. We've got 10 diamonds, three trolls. There should be five legendaries left to claim. We know for a fact there's one like further over here. Where did this guy go?
There should be one more. Oh, I know where it is. It's over here. Oh, we need to shoot the ones over here first. And we got that legendary and then that legendary to take. Uh, Brayden's Life, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking about, Eno. Is it the one on Silver Ridge Peaks? There's one on Silver Ridge Peaks that puts you so far away and I don't understand it. Oh yeah, definitely ult. I'm gonna be streaming for the normal time, like two to four hours, depending on how I'm feeling. Yeah, TKD, we're getting pretty close. Ooh, pulled out the wrong gun. That could have been bad. So we have this guy, we have this guy, and I thought there was another, but maybe not. Now, I guess this is all we have of this zone. All right, we have three more to claim. And then we only have two more legendaries across the map that we need to take. To be honest, I don't even remember where one of them is. I know where one of these last two is, but I can't remember where the other is. We might have to do a little bit of searching. But here we go. It is a 266.10. That's a big mail. Still not as big as what I'm hoping for. I'm only taxing 267 plus or like very high scoring smaller racks. That is diamond 11 though. 11 diamonds, 3 trolls. Two more to go over here. Let's see what these big males score. Oh, you. Oh, terrible red deer. How rude. Like, honestly. How rude to just float. That is just plain rude. Well, that's troll number four. And floater number one. <laughs> so 11 and four. Uh, Captain, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Another one so Crow can get mad because he hacking. <laughs> you know, I've thought about that so many times, Captain. Like, what does this look like to somebody who doesn't understand what we're doing? Imagine? Imagine somebody joins the stream for the first time. They don't even read the title. They just jump in. And the first thing they see is me shooting four diamonds next to each other. Of course, they're going to think I'm hacking. But herd management is just that good. But thank you for the super chat, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Aiden. I would leave every single four and below. Regardless of its weight. Leave every four and below. That's what I've been doing and it's worked incredibly. Ah, uh, possibly, Julie. Alright, I better drink some of my coffee before, while we wait for this thing to float. Hey, Hollow, how's it going? Uh, Robert, thank you for the super sticker, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you've been doing great. Gotcha, T-Rex Hunter. Yeah, it's definitely... One thing I do want to say about herd management is I definitely have noticed that there's some people that are not getting very good results from it. I think a lot of it comes down to not hunting all of your map because I'm hunting all of my zones at this point that or I've hunted all of my zones I should say like I started out with a couple lakes over here and when all of these turned pretty much only four and below I had to move and uh, decide to hunt different areas I think it's all about just building up the high amount of level four and below on your map 
I think some people start this method and expect to see results immediately, when in reality this takes hundreds, even thousands of kills sometimes to cultivate your herds to this point. I think that's going to be the downfall of some people doing herd management is the lack of patience. Because it does take a long time, it's not an instant thing. You got to get it to a point where there's like over 80 level 4 and below on your map. At that point, that's when you'll really start seeing some uh, results from it. This guy's looking big. Oh, <laughs> I boy, I was wrong. <laughs> it's diamond number 12, though. <laughs> oh, man. Mason, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Sean an Albino, level 5 Mule Deer Troll. Oh, no, man. Dude, I'm so sorry to hear that. That sucks. That, that absolutely sucks. That is so unfortunate, man. Hey, Duck, how's it going? Uh, Kevin, thank you for the super chat. Dude, next time in Red Deer, can you shoot it with a 454? Um, possibly. I don't even know if we have any diamonds left. I know we have a troll rack. We could maybe use the 454, though. But, uh, thank you for the super chat once again. Greatly appreciate it, my dude. Let's grab the handgun sight. Even if it's not a diamond, I'll still, uh, shoot it with the handgun. I know we have one, like, right here. I think there actually might be two at this lake, but I can't remember. I think it's just one. How do you get level 4s to spawn on your map? Just shoot everything until they become 4s. Shoot all of the 5s and above. Until they just spawn as 4s. That's all I did. You guys can go back to some of the first uh, herd management streams we did and you can see like uh, all the process of getting our herds where they are. When we started grinding, we had a ton of... Larger stags, you know, like mid-sized stags, like fives, sixes, sevens, eights. And probably over half of our red deer were above level five. But because we never shot a single four or below, eventually some of those fives, sixes, sevens, and eights ended up turning into level four and below. And once it got to a certain point, the level four and below stopped spawning and everything started spawning big. Like at this point, as long as I don't shoot any of the fours, I never get a level four respawn. Everything I shoot is five and above. And in many cases, level six or seven or eight or legendary. There's the guaranteed troll. Okay, so he is the only level nine here, as far as I can tell. Yeah, he definitely is. All right, so let's go get him. And to be honest, I'm starting to think I miscounted. I'm starting to think maybe there's 17 instead of 18. That may be hollow. Honestly, hollow, I'm convinced that your map is probably fine and that you need to maybe just hunt different areas. Because like every time that I've noticed Somebody not having a good, a good herd management on their own map, it's usually just because they haven't branched out or they haven't got enough force to spawn on their map. I'm telling you, Hollow, just uh, hunt everything five and above until it gets to the point where you're having trouble finding them and then start hunting areas you haven't been hunting and then those areas will end up having better luck. Hello, Mr. Legendary. You are looking mighty fine, sir. Or should I say, mighty trolley. Nice, Flanky. Do I use the 7mm sometimes? Uh, not really. And the only reason being because it's single shot. Uh, the only time I use the 7mm is in multiplayer where I'm diamond hunting and not really grinding. Nice, Bond. That's awesome, dude. 
Yeah, don't get too frustrated with it, uh, Call of the Wild Clips 2. It happens, man. Like, uh, I've had some pretty long grinds myself, and you'll get it eventually. Biggest thing is to just not get yourself bored with it, you know, hunt some other stuff as well. Uh, most of them, Hunter. We have shot 16 of them so far. Uh, we think this might be the last one. I feel like I counted wrong. So, I believe that this is the final one, which would be number 17, so I definitely miscounted. Definitely miscounted. Oh, hello there, sir. Oh, rip Johnny, that's unfortunate. Ah, uh, probably, Caleb. It's a little bit different, though. With the whitetail, you'd have to find the halfway mark. The way Jaxie Beard explained it for Whitetail was like, I think anything that scores below 187 is what you would leave. At least that's what he was doing on his Whitetail grinds. I'm going to try it with Whitetail once we get the Red Deer Great one. But uh, for now, I'd say just leave all the fence racks and leave the level ones. And then you can kind of adapt it if that's not working. But I think that's a good start at least. There we go. Got him down. And that right there should be the fifth troll. For a total of five trolls and 12 diamonds. Now the question is, how insane will these respawns be? Are we going to end up getting a great one respawn? We might have to shoot a few uh, normal stags as well in order to get the response flowing. Hey, seeing you have only missed us taking down 12 diamonds and a couple trolls. There it is. That was troll number five for a total of 17 level nines, 12 diamonds, five trolls. We did it. We got them all now. The moment of truth. Let's head to the main menu and then jump back in and see if we've got a great one respawn or a super rare respawn. Please, just please, just give us something. The last two times we've stacked, we didn't get much results. What about now? Can, can we please just get something crazy? That would be insane if we could. That's a big mythical. We have an extra deer here as well. That's interesting to note. There's extra stags here. I only had two here before. There's three now. I know, right, Ebron? I'm sorry. There was 17, not 18. Hey, now I didn't say you could dart off that quick. That's just rude. Leaving before we're done? What a rude stag, man. Big Mellow spawned? I hope so. You floaty boy. No, don't you dare. Oh my gosh, really? Oh my gosh. I love the floaters. I love them. They're great. Nice, Caleb. That is sick, dude. I really want to get a, a diamond rare. That's been my goal of this grind right here is to get a super rare. Just haven't been able to get it so far. Hopefully today's the day. Uh, yeah, Hunter. I definitely will. I might combine both of our days that we did the stacking into one video. Hey, Zane, how's it going, dude? Glad you could make it to the stream. What if the great one would be a floater? That would be very unfortunate. Wow. We got a, quite the population of stags here. Going to assume the respawns are just not here yet. <laughs> Hey, 
Either that or the respawns went to the surrounding lakes. Nice bear, that's awesome, dude. That is awesome, man. Solo stag, though. Yes, solo stag. The guide was great. I'm glad to hear that, Mark. I'm glad that it helped you. It's awesome to hear, dude. Hey, there's our stag. I mean, we got a lot of males over there. Did they all just move to that side? I think they did. I think all the ones that were here moved over there. <laughs> Holy, that's a lot of stags, but none of them look special. Lots of mythicals, though. My gosh. That is a lot of red deer. What am I going to do? I can't get them all in one go. There's no way. Guys, they literally all moved over here. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. There's eight shootable stags here. Eight of them. How am I going to get all of these? Okay, that guy, his top estimate was 239. For a second, I thought that might have been Mela since rares score at the top of the estimate. I guess it wasn't, though, sadly. Oh, he got pushed out of the way. Did I hit a female? I definitely did. You need a machine gun? I definitely do, Duxton. These guys are all kinds of bunched up. I mean, we're getting a lot of them. That's like, what, five, maybe six? Oh, really, Caitlin? That is unfortunate. Sounds about right, though. That would be the luck. Oh my gosh, we got vitals on him? No way. We actually managed to get vitals there. I know, Mark. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. You have 23 fours at this zone, Eno. Uh, to be honest, though, that's a pretty good place to keep all your fours. Because this area can hold a lot of red deer. If you can get literally, like, all your fours here, that's pretty good. I did, like, the opposite. I've got all my big males here. I've got my fours hiding out at the Pukimaro Lakes. The Pukimaro Lakes, and then there was one other lake as well. Uh, it's like this one. The Upper Rotanui, and then these two. That's where all my fours are at. Is stacking nines part of herd management, or would it work the same shooting nines along the way? Oh, normally I just shoot them along the way, uh, Cap. I'd say that stacking is only, like, if you want to switch it up a little bit. Like, you can do fine without the stacking. Nice Hunter 22. Uh, the only thing that uh, stacking really does, and there actually is like a reason that some people do it. Um, I'm just doing it in hopes of maybe it triggering a great one spawn. Because my thought is like, if I'm shooting a bunch of big stags at once, you know, you'd think that maybe one of them would come back as a great one. But um, so far, it doesn't seem like it's been that way. But there is another use for it. Uh, something that people will do is save up a bunch of nines and for some reason that will cause some of the others to spawn smaller so like it can be a way to get extra fours on your map and then when you finally do kill off those nines they will probably more consistently spawn as mythicals or diamonds like even more consistently than what we've already seen with herd management you can kind of use the nines as a way to attempt to stack more fours and below than what you normally could But I haven't been able to see too much of a difference, but I know I buy premiums did some crazy stuff where he had like, I think it was 13 level nine black bear. 
on his map and he managed to cause a bunch more level 4 and below to spawn because of it. And then once he killed all the 9s, he was getting better respawns. Is that all of them? I think that is. There's definitely a couple we missed, but I think we got most of them. Can you explain how to move males to other zones? Oh yeah, it's pretty easy actually, Caleb. Uh, let's say there's a herd right where we are. If there's a herd over here that has, let's say, five females and two males, and you want it to have more than just two males, what you would do is shoot like three of the females, and then go to a location you do not like, like for example, I don't want to hunt this lake. So I would go here and I'd shoot a few of the stags, probably like three or four of them, and then do not claim any of them, and go straight to the main menu. And then when you load back in, there's like a 50-50 chance the respawns will have swapped. You might have to attempt it a few times to get it to work. Uh, it can be kind of random. However, it does seem to work quite a bit. We've uh, managed to move quite a few stags to this zone. So I would definitely give it a shot if you haven't. What do you do if a zone is loaded with only fours? Uh, leave it, Z. If it's loaded with only fours, that's exactly what you want. You want zones to load with fours. Because it's going to cause the other ones to respawn better. Like, for example, uh, these lakes are almost all level fours. And so I, c I don't have to hunt them anymore. Because they're all fours and there's nothing else there besides maybe like one or two level sixes, I don't have to hunt these lakes anymore. And that made it so I could dedicate my tents to other parts of the map that are spawning the good red deer. And so you definitely want to have lots of fours. Because it's going to make your grind uh, better. And having that many fours is also what causes the others to spawn big. Maybe, James. I mean, we could try a lot of different stuff over the next uh, few weeks. Kevin Creeder, thank you so much for the super chat. Once again, dude, Diamond Red Deer 26460. Nice, man. Congratulations. Congrats on that, dude. Congrats. Jeez, nothing good yet. Starting to think there was no good respawns. Unfortunately, and that was a bad shot as well. No! Alright, I think that was all of the ones that stayed. Pretty sure the rest fleed off. I know, KZ, I'm still doing the bear grind. I just don't stream it anymore because I don't like the bear grind. I'm still grinding through it off stream. But I'm not streaming it because I don't really enjoy the bear grind, so it's not the most fun streams to watch. Because uh, nobody wants to watch me grinding something that I don't like grinding. It uh, just doesn't, uh, doesn't give off good vibes in the stream. And obviously we're here about uh, positivity and just having fun and... If I'm not having fun with the bears, then I'm not going to stream them, you know? I love streaming Red Deer, though, because they are so much fun to kind of, like, uh, do the herd management on and see what crazy spawns we can get out of it. So I've just been having so much fun with the Red Deer. Uh, no, Tiger. Unfortunately, I can't talk about that. I can't talk about anything that they haven't revealed, and obviously, if it's something that I shot in the game, uh, they haven't revealed that, obviously. I can't talk about anything that hasn't already been revealed. However, they did reveal some new information this morning, and so I can kind of talk about that, because I don't think a lot of people saw it. Um, they replied to one of my questions in the Discord. I had asked them if the deer, since they said deer will age if you don't shoot them, I asked them if they will eventually die off if you don't shoot them, and they said yes. They will die off if you don't shoot them. 
So for example, you could be, you could see a really good buck that's like a younger buck, but he's got really good genetics, has a good rack, and you're like, all right, I'm going to leave him. We're going to let him grow. We're going to see if he can become an absolute giant. Well, if you wait too long, he'll end up dying off and you won't even get a chance to harvest him. So it's going to give you a lot of decision making where it's going to be like, okay, do I harvest this big mature buck with a nice rack or do I let him grow a little bit longer just to see if he can get bigger? Knowing that it could possibly die if you wait too long. I think that is an amazing thing and I have been wanting this in a hunting game ever since I played Deer Hunter 4. Deer Hunter 4 had a season mode where each season the deer would either grow or die off. Not as complex as this though. Like this is incredibly complex what they've decided to go with and I'm all for it. It's going to be so fun to manage our herds over the over the weeks and months of this game being released. I can't wait to see some of the giants that people grow. It's going to be so cool. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, no, Dynamic. They haven't really talked about that, I don't think. At least I haven't seen them talk about it. And no, Chase, not in Call of the Wild, in Way of the Hunter. Uh, so people know that you're coming, Brobra? I mean, you gotta let people know to clear the way if you're gonna be running through blast and everything, right? Well, uh, technically, technically we kind of do, Johnny. Uh, they talked about this a little bit. But, um, in their dev diary, their second dev diary that they did, uh, talking about the scoring system and stuff like that, they said that the genetics of the deer are going to influence how big they can get. So, you can kind of... Ooh, there's a diamond. You can kind of influence the size of the deer on your map or the average size based off of which ones you shoot. So like if you want to, if you shoot all of the good genetics deer when they're young, they're not going to grow old and therefore they're not going to pass on their good genetics. And if you shoot the poor genetics, uh, mature bucks or young bucks or whatever you want to call them, then there's a higher chance that you'll end up growing some monsters because you're taking the bad genetics out of the pool and leaving the good genetics. So there actually is going to be a very advanced system, it seems. I'm trying not to go too in-depth because obviously I don't want to explain anything they haven't already shown, but they've talked about most of this in their dev diary and in the questions. But it does seem to be pretty insane, the just how in-depth they've gone with the system. There we go. He's going down. Beautiful level 9. You know, maybe this was the 18th one, actually. I think this might have been. Uh, Austin, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Just killed a piebald diamond whitetail. That is insane, man. That is such an awesome trophy. Congrats. Congrats on that giant. Uh, Way of the Hunter is only on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X, and the PC. Oh, 269. <laughs> oh my gosh. 269, guys. That's a taxer. That's a taxer right there. He didn't look 269 to me. What? What makes him 269? I guess maybe just the inner spread. He like hooks in really tight though. Not gonna lie, that's one of the cooler ones. Yes, yeah, so close to 270. Look at that, it's 269.92. And if you guys were ever curious, this is where you can see the hidden decimal on true rack species. If you go into the true score, you can see the last decimal as well. Like here it says 269.90, but if you go here, it shows the last decimal as well, which is 269.92. Nice, Captain. Um, They haven't revealed whether or not it will uh, pickle Rick. They have not talked about whether or not there will be, as far as I know at least, 
they did mention in their discord today that there will be rare fur types apparently so that's cool nice to see that rares will be in the game at least hello little sir It's pretty good, Josiah. I've been enjoying it. Yeah, Auden, you definitely joined at the right time. Yeah, for Call of the Wild, they always round down on the last decimal. And a floater. Well, not gonna worry about him then if he's gonna float. But yeah. They always uh, round down on the last decimal on Call of the Wild. It's like if it's 260.69, then it would round it down to 260.60. I don't know why, but that seems to be the way they always do it. That's why people will see a lot of Capper Callies that say 4.60 when Diamond is 4.64. It's because they actually are over 4.64, but it doesn't show the last decimal. A lot of confusion I've seen with that. They really need to just show the final decimal. I don't know why they don't. Because it would really remove a lot of the confusion. How many diamonds do I average per round? Um... I'd say one diamond every run, sometimes two or three on a run. It really depends on the day, to be honest. Like, depends on what I've been doing, how I've been hunting. Oh no, Johnny, that's unfortunate. Um, I can't really reveal anything like that, Collide. I can't talk about anything they haven't already shown. And I don't know if they've shown any uh, stuff regarding that. I can really only talk about what they've already shown. Nice, Big Hunter, that's awesome. Um, I've seen a couple good things, uh, Maddie. I can't really talk about it, but... I guess, I guess I can say I've got a couple good things since that's pretty vague. You know what I've got the most of in Way of the Hunter though? A good time. A good, exciting, very fun time that I am so excited to share with you guys. I just finished editing episode one last night and it is like 34 minutes long? So... You guys are going to get a good chunk of content from Way of the Hunter. And I'm probably going to post two videos a day for the first three days that I'm allowed to post. Maybe just the first two days, but for the first two or three days, there will be two videos a day. Uh, whenever I'm allowed to, Maddie. I don't know if they've actually revealed when that will be to everybody. I know when I can post it, but I'm not sure if they've told everyone else when early access content will start showing up. So I'm not going to talk about it. Exactly, T-Rex. Ah, uh, yeah, Bird Dog, I will shoot the next great one on stream. Whenever he may show up. As it seems like he just doesn't want to. Please be vitals. I don't think it is. Where is another shootable stag? Oh, that shot. Oh, that poor guy. That poor stag, man. He just full on skidded on his belly. 
Nice, Johnny. Nice. That's good. Hiccups are the worst, man. Absolutely the worst. Oh, I need to update my diamond count. Hold on. I just... I, if, if I don't update it now, I'm going to forget. So, we've had 13 diamonds because we just got another one. And four trolls. And I say we've probably shot 50 stags. Eh, maybe not 50. Probably 40. So yeah, that'd be 13. Wow! Oh my gosh, that 269 was our 200th diamond red deer overall. Not just from this grind, but from all of our grinds combined. That was our 200th diamond. That is awesome! And our 77th troll. Holy. <laughs> so over 10,350 stags. We have 200 diamonds, 77 trolls, 28 rares. Um, two rare legendaries, which I'm counting separately from the 28 rares. So that, I guess, really 30 rares. Two of them being rare legendaries and two great ones. Thank you, Micro. Oh, really? That's wild, Sam. I did not know about that. That's kind of cool to know. Very interesting. Nice, JJ. That's awesome. I don't know, Pickle. I don't know. I'm really hoping that they will talk about that a little bit more. Would be nice to get some information about it. Just random mythical showing up? Okay. Just out of nowhere. Yeah, Hunter, because there's still a diamond. Even if I messed it up or didn't tax it, it's still a diamond, so it counts towards the uh, count. Um, I don't think so, Dynamic. If they have, it would probably be in one of their dev diaries or in their Discord. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure if they have, so I'm not going to talk about it. But I'm sure they will reveal stuff soon. Nice, Nick. That's awesome, dude. Congrats on those initial diamonds. Wow, we are not shooting good today. We are just not shooting good today. Nice, Mr. Crack. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, Riley. I've been, uh... I've been playing Way of the Hunter for the last few days. It's a lot of fun. The second I'm able to, uh, show content to you guys, I will. But it's still gonna be a little bit before, uh... Before any content for it comes out. Yeah, me too, T-Rex. I hope they uh, show off a bit more soon. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, that's right. You stay down, you big silly. Uh, very rare, uh, Faded Hawks. Very, very rare to find any rare links, to be honest. Just started the Quattro missions, just got the Diamond Wolf. Nice, Timmy, that's awesome. Quattro's got a very good set of missions. Probably one of my favorite missions. Oh, that's not good, Johnny. 
That's not good, man. Poor internet just having issues. I'm happy mine's been pretty decent recently, although now that I've said that, it'll probably just completely die on me. But it's been okay the last few weeks. <laughs> you are you are very right, bro, bro. <laughs> there will be a lot of awesome content, I can tell you that. Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought there was three for a second. I was going to freak out. We got two legendaries over here now. Two legendary respawns from that run. That is awesome. Uh, yes, Way of the Hunter will cost money. I believe it's like 35 or $40. Does Brober have a YouTube channel? Unfortunately, no, BP. He doesn't. Um, without giving away too much bear, uh, all I can say is it's literally nothing like Call of the Wild. Like, every aspect of Way of the Hunter is nothing like Call of the Wild. I still don't understand how there were so many people in the comments saying, like, this just looks like a Call of the Wild copy. And it's like, what? What are you looking at? This looks nothing like Call of the Wild. I, I never understood it. I never understood how you could compare Call of the Wild and Way of the Hunter, even from the trailers. Like, the trailers looked nothing like Call of the Wild. Yet, I still have so many comments on my last Way of the Hunter uh, reaction slash review video of people saying, like, this just looks like Call of the Wild. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've played so much Call of the Wild and... Maybe I'm able to see the, the differences a little bit easier, but I, I don't get it. I don't get the comparison. I mean, I guess maybe because Call of the Wild is the biggest hunting game out there, maybe that's why people are saying it looks like it, but I don't see it, man. Even just from the trailers, I don't see the comparison. All right, well, that one's going down. This looks like a small rack. Yeah, 254. What about this guy? That is not one of the diamonds. Where is, where's the other diamond? Yeah, Ebron, like obviously like Hunting games are going to have some similarities just because they're both hunting games. But as far as like almost everything, it's so different. Like so incredibly different from Call of the Wild. And honestly, just from talking with the developers of Way of the Hunter, I really get the feeling that they're not trying to be a Call of the Wild type of game like they're not trying to mimic call of the wild or even take over call of the wild they're just creating their own experience that they wanted to create i mean they even talked about it in their dev diary since they came from the cabela's hunting games and also from uh daisy they wanted to create an open world hunting game because of their backgrounds as developers and honestly, I believe that they really do want to create like a super awesome, realistic hunting game that's unique in its own ways. <laughs> Pretty much, Pickle Rick. That is a that, that's a good a good uh, way to put it, I guess. I know, Micro, it's wild, man. Herd management has been insane. What's crazy is, like, before I started doing herd management, I saw a diamond maybe once every 150 kills or 100 kills. I didn't see them nearly as much. Now that we've been doing herd management, I see, like, two diamonds every run sometimes. There's Mrs. Crow in the chat. There she is, here to give us the great one luck. Hopefully, 
we can get a great one at least. Thank you, Nay. Hopefully we do end up getting ourselves a great one, Red Deer. I, I got a feeling that today's, I don't know if it's going to be the day for a great one, but I got a feeling we'll get something, like maybe a super rare, maybe another troll rare. I got a feeling something will show up. Like after, uh, after taking out all of those level nines, we got to have some type of good luck, right? I'd say so. Probably spicy. <laughs> hey, you know, that, that episode, that episode where Bree beat us, that's all my fault. I taught her about the red deer on Tiawaroa, and because of that, I lost. But I love, uh, I love trying to pass on as much of the knowledge as I can about Call of the Wild. So, in the end, it was, uh, it was pretty great. I was really proud to see her managing to, to bag a, a Diamond Red Deer so quickly. Ooh, there's, oh, that's a four. Don't shoot the four. Yep, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Medved? Oh gosh, Johnny. I mean, Medved's not that bad now, I guess, so maybe... I typically do the, uh, first to get a diamond challenges to where we can hunt any map we want to. So I think that's probably how we'll keep it. Like anybody can hunt any map, but maybe I'll use Medved as the map I go to. Maybe. Or Hirsch? Oh gosh, no. No, I refuse to play Hirsch. It's still not a good map. I think Hirsch is now the worst. Like they, apparently they really did not change much. When it comes to like how easy the map is for certain species, like apparently they didn't improve it much. So I don't know. I think I'll just stay away from Hirschfelden. My gosh, so many stags. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine stags at this lake. Jeez. Well, I haven't played it myself, Weston. I've just been told by everybody that it's still garbage. So I've just been taking everybody's advice and not going on there myself because, uh, let's be honest, I don't like Hirschfelden. It's too brushy, and the species aren't super interesting. Most of the species are on other maps. And I'd rather hunt them on those other maps. The only reason I ever go to Hirsch is for the bison. Like at this point, that's all it has left is European bison. Everything else has been put on other maps that have easier hunting for them. And with me being the, the type of grinder that I am, I tend to just gravitate towards whichever map is easiest to hunt that species. Because the, the more I can get down in a shorter amount of time, the, the more I feel like I'm actually making progress. Which is why I pretty much exclusively hunt Tiawaroa for Red Deer, even when it was at nighttime, because I could get more of them here. But that's just me. Some people love Hirschfelden because it's a little more uh, difficult and can be a bit more realistic feeling. You know, to each their own. It's just not my speed. Nice, Brody. I imagine that's probably because they're the only uh, bird species there, Fusion. 
I think in general, I just like Rev on Thule more, so I'm going to grind Canada Geese on Rev on Thule. And there actually is a couple spots that are insane for Geese on Rev on Thule. There's a couple spots where I've found so many Canada Geese. Where did this guy come from? Just randomly spawns and into the water he goes. Oh, man. Uh, no, Ryan, it's not rare. Nice, Rhett, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. There's that mythical. Should be one more over here. How rare is the level one moose male? I think that's decently rare. Oh yeah, that sounds terrible, Johnny. I haven't even played Quattro and I can already tell that that would be awful. Move on drinking at night. Ugh. Oh, you did, Sam? That's funny. The half masked Canada goose. Very rare breed. How many di diamonds do I have in total in Call of the Wild? Uh, at this point, probably like 800 plus, I would say. So as most of you know by now, the codex is messed up because of a couple updates they had. So I'm not going to see an exact perfect count. I think I have to subtract 210 from my codex because of the time period where golds were counting as diamonds and diamonds were counting as great ones in the codex. So... It's not going to give us the most accurate look, but we can kind of calculate it. So, um, it says 1134 for the diamonds. I would have to remove, let's see. I have to remove 210. So I've killed 920, gosh, 924, really? My gosh, red deer have really inflated my diamond count. <laughs> Although, I guess to be fair, we have killed 160 diamonds in the last 4,000 stags. Gosh, 924. I didn't realize I had got that many diamonds. I thought I was still like mid 800s. That's insane. That is absolutely insane to think about. Uh, yeah, it's kind of for like the height advantage, Micro. There's certain lakes where. Uh, the tree sand just gives me that extra elevation to see you over some of the trees and get a better angle on some of these zones. That's the main reason I use them. Did we mess up that other shot? I think we did. We definitely messed it up. Oh well, back over here. Oh really, bro? I didn't know that. That's for your videos and streams. Now I'm getting diamonds more on my grinds. Nice, Slim. That's awesome, man. Glad that you've been able to get some more diamonds. Ooh, speaking of diamonds. There we go. That's a beauty. That's a beauty right there. 269 upper estimate. Captain, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Really appreciate it. What's the biggest trophy flex? Mine's a 265 piebald red. Ugh, rude. <laughs> also, how do you get big stags to swap spots with smaller stags when there's no females? Uh, it's a little bit trickier then because you can't even guarantee what level they'll come back as. Um, to be honest, sometimes all you gotta do is like shoot one of the small stags and then I guess go to another zone and shoot a big stag. And then, I don't, I don't know how it works, but Usually when I do that, they both come back as like a 7 or a 6. It's a little bit uh, difficult to swap stags, but it's it's easier to swap females with males. But once again, thank you for that super chat, dude. Uh, let's go ahead and take down this diamond right here. Oh, 
Okay, no way we can get that guy good. Okay, I think... I th Wait, that's a mythical? I thought that was a seven. I should have been targeting that guy. Well, at least we got the legendary good and then got most of them down pretty quickly. Oh no, Hollow, that doesn't sound fun. That's a rough way to take a fall. Nice, BP. That's a good golden eye. Bigger than the golden eye I got. Ah, we should run up here first before I get too far away. So diamonds are now common? Uh, definitely if you're grinding this way. Uh, however, the one thing to keep a note of a video is it does take a while to get your herds like this. I wasn't seeing consistent diamonds for at least like five or six hundred kills. And that's when they started showing up a little bit more, but... Even then it was like maybe one every 60 or 70 kills. Uh, now that we're getting... Our herds to a point where... We're getting diamonds every... Probably 30 or 40 kills? It probably took a couple thousand to get it to that point. So I think that's the big thing to remember. Is that though red deer diamonds are now common to me, it took a lot of time to get it to this point. And so that in in general, that's gonna keep it so that most species are still rare to me to find a diamond. Because I would have to do the herd management on them as well, and some it's more difficult. Red deer are probably the easiest ones to manage. I would imagine with Whitetail it would take probably a couple thousand kills to start seeing results instead of a few hundred like it was with Red Deer. So for me, Red Deer diamonds are more common than they used to be, but for everything else, they're still rare. Definitely more difficult to manage the other animals in the game. At least in my experience. Especially black bear. My gosh, black bear were difficult. To the point where I stopped doing it. Hey, Wild, you missed us slaughtering all 17 of the level 9 red deer. And then we've had a total of, I think, four more spawns since then. So we've had like 21 level 9s this stream. And uh, this guy is one of them at 266 max weight. Gosh, if we keep getting these max weights, we're bound to get a great one soon, right? Like, it's clearly hitting the upper levels of what a 9 can be, so... When is it gonna trigger a great one? I gotta know, man. Alright, let's add that diamond to the count. And also, let's update the... Total kill count as well. There we go. Yeah, same for me, Avidya. I have just not been enjoying the Black Bear grind. I'm not even grinding them a ton anymore. I'm still doing it, but right now for the Black Bear, it's like, I'll kill a hundred bears, like, maybe every other day. Sometimes only, like, 50 bears. It really depends on how long it takes me to get bored of shooting bears. I don't know. I think it's just the fact that they don't have antlers. I think that's why it's so boring to me. I think because bears don't have antlers, it's just not as enjoyable to shoot thousands of them. With red deer, like, you get to see some weird and wonky twisted racks. You get some rares with some weird racks. It keeps it interesting. But with the bears, it's just like, well, there's another bear that looks the same as every other bear. Yeah, same, Chope. With Bear, it was difficult. Like, herd management was definitely working for me. Like, I was getting a diamond every run for bears for a while. But I was only finding, like, five to ten bears every run. And, I mean, if we're looking for a great one bear, that's definitely not the way to get it. Like, only getting five to ten bears per run, that's going to be such a slow grind. So I just went back to shooting everything for bears.
Uh, no, Maddox, you don't have to, but I recommend it because it does seem like it causes your respawns to get back to their zones quicker if you pick them up. Level seven, 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 seven. Lots of, lots of sevens. Okay. I mean, at least they're all big sevens. That's good. What's the herd management for Whitetail? Um, I don't know exactly, but I'd say any of the small level twos and level ones I would leave. So like, if you see a fence rack level two, leave that. If you see a level one, leave that. Um, as far as anything else, I'm not entirely sure because it's been uh, like two years since I did herd management on Whitetail. And back when I did it, I didn't stick with it for very long. Random mythical I didn't see at first. Mini sevens? Yes, sevens everywhere. And floaters as well, sadly. You stupid floaters. Gosh, I despise the floaters. Hey, Travis, you missed uh, 21 level nines because we had stacked 18 of them. We stacked, uh, well, 17. We stacked 17 level nines over the last three days. Uh, so we shot those at the beginning of the stream and then we've had four level nines spawn since then. Been a crazy day. Very crazy day. Sadly, no super rares or great ones or even any rares at all from the respawns. Sadly, it seems like our uh, stacking attempt didn't really yield much. Besides, obviously, the diamonds from stacking. I'm just comfortable with it, Samuel. If it's not like... The only time that I'll change it from 150 is if they're over 250 meters away. That's when I zero to 300 instead. And sometimes it's just quicker to leave it at 150. Yeah, like, if I have some red deer that are at varying distances, I'll just leave it at 150 and then adjust for the drop. That guy is going to take forever to float. We'll not worry about him. When can I do a whitetail grind next? We'll do it soon. Uh, like I've been telling you guys, the second that we get a great one red deer again, that is when the whitetail grind will start. Unless we happen to get the Great One Red Deer, like, right as Way of the Hunter starts being able to be shown to you guys. And then, obviously, it would have to wait, but the next grind that we do will be Whitetail. Because I do still want to get the Drop Tine Rack as well as the typical looking rack. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. That caught me off guard. <laughs> Did you get the Great One Bear? Nope, we did not. I'm still grinding for it off camera, but have not got it, sadly. Nice, King Charles, that's awesome. Eight hundred, three hundred rounds should be good. I am Jason. Like, like I've been saying, I'm still grinding bear. Just because you guys aren't seeing it on the channel doesn't mean I'm not doing it. I just haven't been streaming or doing videos on the Black Bear Grind because I don't really have fun with the Black Bear Grind and I want to make videos and streams on stuff that I'm having fun with because I do feel like it gives a better viewing experience if I'm enjoying it and uh, I just enjoy Red Deer and Whitetail and you know Rev on Thule hunting more than I do the Black Bear Grind so that's probably what a lot of the streams will be is Red Deer, Whitetail, and Rev on Thule bird hunting and stuff like that. I haven't even got it yet, Sam. I don't have access to the Adventure Incense on my account. I don't know why, but I just don't have it. I've even reinstalled the game. I've refreshed the game data. I just don't have it yet. It did say that they would roll it out over the next week to everybody, so I'm assuming I just haven't got it yet. 
Which is unfortunate because I see everybody else uh, in Pokemon Go getting the the cool like Galarian birds to spawn and I don't even have access to it yet. How rude is that? Niantic being rude. Alright Chris, no worries. Yeah, Captain, probably. I can't believe we've been trolled by a Piebald Legendary twice now. That honestly is absurd. Oh, let me plug my phone in real quick. It is about to die. There we go. What gun do I use? The 300 Magnum just because it kills them super quick. Uh, since it's a bit too big for them and then for anything that I want to get full score on I shoot it with the 303 Gotcha Sam. Yeah, it seems really good. It's weird though. Like yeah, I literally don't have access to it on my account It's been a week since it released and I still don't have it and I cannot figure out why except for oh There's a legendary except for possibly the fact that Maybe it just hasn't been rolled out to me yet. Either way, it's weird. How many kills do I have for Red Deer? Uh, this grind alone is 4,090. Overall, 10,400. And that's not counting the kills that I had before the Great One was a thing. Because I used to hunt Red Deer a lot before the Great One even. Ooh, stop moving, buddy. Gosh, this guy is just moving so much. There we go, finally. Finally got that shot into him. So... How many diamonds is that? How many diamonds is that on the day? Is this diamond number 16? I'm losing count, man. I am losing count. You think I should buy the best scope? Um, I would, Wild. Uh, the Argus is really good. Both the Hyperion and Argus are good for different reasons, so I do recommend having both of them. 256, that's big for the small rack. Yeah, that's a pretty good scoring one for being the small rack, honestly. 256 is nice. He's a wide boy. Super wide boy. Tempted to tax him, but at the same time, we've got too many taxed already. So we'll just move along. But that is, I believe, the 15th diamond on the day. And our 204th diamond red deer from all of our grinds combined. Now what do we have over here? Did he turn to a four? I think he did. To be honest, that, that's good. I would prefer that he becomes a four so I don't have to grind that zone anymore. He looked bigger? He did. He definitely did. What grind should I do? Sorry for spamming. Um, I would say, I mean, honestly, Red Deer Elmer. Red Deer is so much fun. How many drink zones do you have? I actually haven't counted them. I personally don't focus too much on need zone numbers and more with just knowing where all the zones are. Like knowing where I have Red Deer and then just hunting the best of the best. Like for me it's like, it's more of like how many lakes I'm hunting instead of how many zones. Because the zones will always change as you're hunting. You'll have zones disappear. You'll have more zones appear. I would just focus on like a certain number of lakes instead. 
like right now, I have red deer at pretty much all of the upper lakes, except for this one. And I hunt one, well, I hunt this river zone too, but I hunt one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots. And the amount of zones between them kind of fluctuates because I delete some zones, new zones appear. I'd say it's more about the amount of uh, red deer you can get down in those areas than it is the uh, amount of zones that are there. Glad we came over here. There's three shootable stags. Hunter? Excuse me, sir. Did you really just walk in front of me and block my last shot? That is just rude. That is just rude. I'm telling you, sometimes Hunter is just trying to sabotage us. Is the 270 good for Red Deer? Uh, it's probably about the minimum I would go for Red Deer. I'd recommend something bigger than 270, but 270 will work if it's what you've got. Just make sure you get double lung. Make sure you're doing broadside shots and you should be okay. Uh, just keep in mind they will run quite a long ways with the 270. Do you purposely delete some zones? Uh, not really. I have occasionally, but I try not to because it can be hard to predict where they go. So I don't really purposely delete them, but there's some zones that just naturally disappear because they had single stags in them. Like uh, this zone right here has disappeared so many times and then came back. Because what happens is this zone will have like six single stags. So it's six different stags, stags that are not part of a herd. They're just solo stags. And so if I were to kill all six of them, their zone has disappeared and they'll go to like some of these lakes or they'll come back here. So I don't really purposely delete them, but just in the process of hunting, some of them disappear. Uh, yeah, the 308's good for them. Would definitely recommend 308. Uh, the only issue with the 308 at the moment is at long range, like 250 plus, it sometimes, on rare occasions, will shoot a bit to the right. So I wouldn't use the 308 for diamonds, but just for like your regular grind, yeah, the 308's amazing. And I'm sure they'll fix that inaccuracy in a coming update, probably. Should you delete some of your bad zones? Uh, what do you mean by bad? Like, are they in bad locations? Or do the stags in them just suck? Because I guess it depends. Um, if, it, if they're just in locations that you don't like, then yeah, you could try deleting them and see if they come back to a better spot. Oh gosh, uh, Master Crayfish, that was the worst. The worst thing ever about Call of the Wild was the consecutive harvest check. My gosh, that was awful. I'm glad that a consecutive harvest only affects cash now and not the score. Because back when it could affect your score, that was terrible. Do you want thermal scopes? I wouldn't mind having that. I mean, we've already got night vision scopes and let's be honest, it's not like we can't find the animals at drink zones anyway, so I don't think a thermal optic would really hurt the game. Same with suppressors. I don't see why we don't have them. It's not like it would hurt Call of the Wild at all. It's just cool things for the aesthetics of the gun and to make it so there's a little bit more variety. Super rare lock? I hope so, Axis. I hope so, man. I really want a super rare so bad. It's been the main focus of this grind and we just have not got it yet. Mason, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. 900 or 9,880 kills into a white tail. Great one. Still don't even have one. I don't know what to even do at this point. Uh, try switching up your grinding tactics, Mason. I've found that... A lot of times when I'm, having, when I'm having bad luck, 
all it takes sometimes is just switching up the way you're approaching it and you could have some good luck start to happen. I've had that happen a couple times where things were just terrible. Also, double legendary, by the way. But yeah, I've had some terrible luck at times and then all I had to do was switch up my tactics and my luck got better. Is that a piebald? I can't tell. The lighting is really weird right now. No, it's definitely not a piebald. Okay. But we got two level nines to take down. Yep, two potential chances at a super rare. But, nope. Oh, that's, that's convenient. They just uh, chilling next to each other now. Beautiful. Love to see it. It's uh, nice when they decide to hang out side by side and make it easy on me. Ooh, that shot. Uh, we missed the... Did we... We went in between the lungs again. I already know it. We went in between the lungs again. That is just sad, man. In between the lungs. Mason, thank you for the super chat again, man. Super generous. My gosh. Two super rares and I've tried three different tactics. Still nothing. Hmm. It might just be bad RNG then, Mason. It might just be bad RNG, unfortunately. And I think at that point, there's really nothing you can do except for hope that it will show up soon. There we go. Finally sealed the deal on that guy. So this should be diamond number 16 and 17 of the stream. That's insane to think about. Two fifty-eight seventy. Ah, uh, we're getting such high-scoring mid-rack diamonds recently. That guy's huge. Another giant male. Not too bad. Let's update the diamond count. And then, that is the mythical. Nice, Hudson. Just got an albino mountain goat. Nice axes. Those are rare, man. I don't see them hardly ever. I think I've only found two albino mountain goats my whole time playing and... Considering how much I play uh, Silverage Peaks, crazy to think that I've only seen two of them. 250, 240. Another diamond. Beautiful. Alright, let's update the count again. That should be the last one. I think, at least. Where do you find all these deer? They're drink zones, Max. Uh, I would definitely recommend checking out the video that I posted a couple days ago. I posted a red deer grinding guide on the channel that talks about everything you need to know to find this many uh, big red deer, Max. All right, let's go to this lake now. Uh, Micro, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Do you want with viewers for videos or anything? Not really, because I've started to gain quite a large audience. I don't do that because if I play with two or three people, I'm gonna have like 50 other people asking me why I didn't play with them. And so I do it to kind of just avoid the arguing in the chat on like who's gonna be the next to play. But any time that I'm in multiplayer, I always am perfectly fine with other people joining the multiplayer sessions that I join. So, I guess in a way I do play with viewers, but not like directly. To avoid the whole uh, arguing that could ensue with only picking certain people from chat since they're obviously I couldn't hunt with everybody. 
Let me just do it to avoid the drama and stuff. But anytime I'm in multiplayer, feel free to hop in. I'm always, uh, always happy to play with people in multiplayer, provided we keep distance from each other and don't spook each other's trophies. There's another troll, though. Really? You're spooked? But you were so far up there. Gosh, I was hoping I would hit that. Please tell me that hit. Well, we got a few and there's even a floater, sadly. Uh, no, dog guy. There is no max score for any true X species. I mean, technically, I suppose there's a max score at some point, but there's no known max score because true X is a randomized system. Therefore, you could always have something that's 0.01 bigger than the last. And I've seen a couple 276 whitetail as well. I've seen a couple people post the 276 whitetail. I've heard of somebody getting a 278, but haven't actually seen any proof of it, so... I don't know about that one, but apparently there's been a 278 killed. Anything above 274, though, is massive. Like, absolutely giant. Where is this? Okay, huh. We definitely didn't vitally hit that one, but... I know we have two there. I swear we shot a third one and got it vitally. We shot one, like, right around here. Where's the blood? There was, like, a level six. I'm starting to think we didn't vitally hit that level six. No, we didn't. Well, I guess it's just the two floaters then. Yeah, that 520 Rocky was insane, Crayfish. A very good example of the fact that there is no known max. People thought that 517 or 518 was the biggest Rockies could get, and then somebody posted a 520, and it's like, oh my gosh, they get that big? And just like I thought 270 was probably the limits for Red Deer, and then I got that 271. I'd say there's definitely some point where it gets very difficult to get one larger, because obviously, any system would eventually have like a breaking point where it can't really get too much larger. And I think for Whitetail, 275.5 is where it starts to get to a point where... The chances of getting one above that are so slim that most people will never even see it. Someone got a 272 Red Deer? Jeez, Johnny, that's insane. Is it possible to get a 280 Red Deer? Um, I suppose with the right RNG to the antlers, it would be possible. Nobody's done it, though. Nobody has managed to do it. However, um, it is possible to get a 280 scoring great one because somebody got a 283 scoring great one red deer, which is the biggest one I've ever seen. 274, that is crazy, Crayfish. That's the biggest one I've heard of. But uh, the biggest great one red deer we've seen was 283. And I think the second biggest was only like 277, so that's quite the jump. That's like a six point difference. And then there was one time somebody got a very wide big rack great one whitetail. And I believe it scored like in the 650s or 660s. It was a uh, way higher scoring than normal, I know that. Most great one red deer are for like the, or not red deer, most great one white tail for the big rack are like 630s, 640s, but then somebody got one that was above the 650s and it was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know they got that big. And honestly, that is one of the things I love about true racks. There's always something that shocks you. There's always like a giant that somebody gets where it's like, oh my gosh, they get that big? Yeah, I haven't seen anything bigger than that, Imperium. Hey, you're probably right, Sam. You know, I think I've got one of those as well. 
I think I I think I may have got one of those. Probably. Maybe. Hopefully. If I haven't, I'd be a little concerned with the amount of trolls I've seen. Also, speaking of trolls, I need to update the troll count as well. Gosh, 78 troll red deer in 10,000 kills. That is sad. I mean, sure, we've got a ton of diamonds, but really? 78 trolls? Come on, Call of the Wild. Why so rude? 78 trolls is just rude, man. Hey, Mason, uh, you missed, um... You missed us taking down all the stacked diamonds, and then we've actually had a lot of diamonds since then as well. As of today, we've got 16 diamonds, I believe. Is it 16? Hold on, let me count again. No, it's 17. We have 17 diamonds and I believe 5 or 6 trolls. I believe it's 17 diamonds, 5 trolls on the day. Uh, not really Ness because I haven't shot any female rares Besides uh, Gertie the one that we had named and saved but then we crashed when we were gonna claim her so didn't count towards the uh, Or I didn't count it towards the rares. I'm only counting rare stags Jeez lots of big mythicals here love to see it You did it Sam nice dude nice I've always wondered, is that a lengthy process? I feel like it would be a very lengthy process. What would herd management be for moose? Um, I'd say probably leave level twos and below. Twos and below is probably what you would do for moose and then maybe tweak it as you go to, uh, once you learn more about it. Holy! Giants everywhere. Giants all over. Nice, Julie, that's awesome. How does respawning work? So every time you shoot an animal, uh, a respawn will happen somewhere on the map. Nobody knows where that is, but basically every time you claim an animal, it will respawn at wherever the respawn point may be on the map, and then it begins to travel back to its zone. So you get your respawns pretty much instantaneously, but the animals are not guaranteed to go back to the same herd you shot them in. There's a chance that they could end up in a different zone. And each animal seems to take different amounts of time to arrive back at whatever need zone they're going to. Which is why you see sometimes where it seems like it's taking forever for them to get to their zone. Finally got a hit into it. Not a super great hit, but hey, we got it at least. How's it going, little dude? Cute little level two. Welcome back, tiger. Welcome back. Ones, twos, and the toothpick rack threes. Gotcha. Okay. That would make sense. Because I guess that would technically be like the halfway mark. Nice lefty, nice. Uh, hunting with Jace, thank you for the super chat dude, really appreciate it. Hope you've been doing well man, it's good to see you back at the channel. What's the rarest great one whitetail rack? Um, it's either the really short tined mass heavy one or the typical looking great one rack. I'd say those two are by far the ones I see the least. Which is unfortunate because that uh, typical looking one is probably my favorite. Yeah, it's fine, Julie. Just remember that if I if I reply to something, you don't have to continue saying it. Is that all? 
Or did we have one more? I think that's all. Let's go get this one. Nice, Monkey Master. That's awesome, dude. Hey, Sky. Hey, Brady. You missed uh, 17 diamonds and 5 trolls. Uh, yes, yeah, guy, we're gonna be doing Red Deer all stream because we're really trying to push to get a great one before uh, Way of the Hunter's release date. Because, like, once Way of the Hunter is... Or once I'm able to post Way of the Hunter content, I won't be doing as much Call of the Wild for a couple weeks, so... I'm trying to push towards that next a great one Red Deer as quickly as we can. But honestly, I don't know when we're going to get it at this point. It seems like uh, things are just not cooperating. Even with all the diamonds, just nothing massive for, like, great one-wise. No super rares either. Unfortunate. Hi, bye. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Glad you could finally make it to a stream. It's been going good, dude. It's been going good. We stacked, like, I think it was... What, 17 level 9s between the last three days? Uh, we shot them all today. Nothing good from respawns. Uh, we've killed, I think, 6 or 7 level 9s since then. Nothing good. No super rares. No great ones. No rares at all, even. But how have you been, dude? Hopefully things have been going good for you. I still can't believe you have two great one bears stacked right now. That's absolutely absurd. Oh, there's another 9. Yeah, Johnny, Consec Harvest does still affect the cash and XP. Need a new Lodge Tour? I will do another one at some point. I try to do them every six months. I guess it has been almost six months. If I'm not mistaken. Just get those guys dying a little bit. I imagine it probably is possible to get a third one. I imagine it's difficult, but it's probably possible. We get vitals on him. No, we didn't. Oh, well. Okay, we'll leave the four. This guy should stop soon. That actually is a huge one. I should probably be careful. This looks like a 270. Oh my gosh, yeah, that looks like a two- Holy, dude! Look at the rack on that thing! Okay, I really should have been more careful there. That is huge. I didn't actually realize how big this guy is. I just looked at it and was like, oh, another nine. I didn't realize what we were looking at. That's- holy. Dude, that might be the biggest red deer I've ever seen. Okay, I'm actually gonna take my time on this one. This could be a 271. My gosh, that's huge. Oh, well, there's one we forgot to claim. This might be the biggest red deer I've ever killed, actually. Yeah, I wasn't looking at chat, Johnny. Sorry. That definitely might be the biggest one we've ever seen. And I can't believe it. We almost just completely botched it. I think we should be able to get another shot, though. What do you guys think? 270 plus? I think so. There we go. He's down. He's down. Let's go. That is huge. Yeah, true, Johnny. That is true. It definitely could have... Definitely got to be careful. Absolute monster, though. Uh, where do the rest of these even go? I don't know which ones we got vitally and which ones we didn't. Uh, looks like there's definitely one that we're not going to worry about. That's a miniature stag right there. Oh, yeah, he's puny. Absolutely tiny. Watch it respawn as the great one. I mean, we can hope. At this point, though, I don't know if we're going to get the next great one anytime soon. We're like 4,000 kills since the last one. With, like, no signs of anything changing. Oh, gosh. That thing's huge. 
This might be it. This might be the first 272 that we will have got. Please be a 272. 27010. It's a 270, but it's not a 272. But that is massive. And... Dude, we did it again. Why is this a thing? <laughs> Why is... Why is it a thing where you can hit directly between two lungs? I've never understood that. Like, it barely would have hit the lung. Like, just barely. But from this angle, you can see the tip of it is into the lung. It didn't even make it to the... I mean, I think it did just barely, though. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Maybe it didn't make it to lungs. But, I mean, regardless, it's a big stag. That's uh, one of the biggest ones we've had in the last week. So that should be diamond number 17, I think, of the day. At least we finally got a tax-worthy one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you? Yeah, that's the four. Not worried about the four. Yeah, that pen is wild, uh, I buy. I don't understand, like, the, the penetration on some of these shots. I've shot in between the lungs on probably like five diamonds ever since I started this grind and I just don't understand how that is even a possibility. Like in real life you could not shoot directly between two lungs. There's just no way that would even have a chance of happening. So I wonder why it's a thing in Call of the Wild. Given that one might have just been not even reaching the lungs but I've had so many go in between the lungs it's just it's not even funny at this point. Yeah, definitely, man. I think penetration just needs to be increased for sure on a lot of these guns. And, like, I don't understand how a gun like the 243 or the 270 is so weak. Like, in Call of the Wild, the 270 and the 243 are, like, pea shooters. In real life, a 270 will just absolutely knock a deer flat in its tracks. I mean, I know people that hunt elk with a 270 or even a 243, and it does perfectly fine on them. But in Call of the Wild, you use a 243 on an elk and it just stares at you weird. Hey, Cannon, you missed, uh, let's see, 17 diamonds and 5 trolls? Got a pretty insane day going so far. Okay, those guys floated, so should probably go get them. What map is that? This is Tiabaroa. Oh yeah, the 223 is garbage. I can't stand the 223. I don't think I've used that thing in months at this point. I used the 223 AR a bit when it came out just to test it. And I have not used it since. There's a lot of guns that are very underpowered. And I know that they, uh, they want to have like some kind of balance, but... In my opinion, I think there's enough people that want realism over balance that it would probably just be worth it to make everything more realistic when it comes to the, the damage output from a lot of these rifles. There's so many people that want them to deal the same amount of damage that their real-life counterparts would, and I don't know why they haven't done that. I mean, at this point, I think it's pretty clear that Call of the Wild's not a balanced game at all. I mean, if we can do this with diamonds and the herd management, like... Why not just give the guns the power they deserve? Yeah, 223 is good for fox, but the thing is, like, 223 is good for deer in real life. In Call of the Wild, you shoot a deer with it, it takes, like, a full minute for it to die. In real life, like, the first, my first ever hunting rifle was a 223 AR. Took that out for deer the first time I went out. In real life, 223 is plenty for deer. As long as you're obviously a good shot. Like, as long as you hit the lungs, a 223 does plenty to a deer. Nice, Keaton. That's awesome, dude. Congrats on the super rare. That's what I'm hoping to get. 
Hoping that we can find a super rare, but uh, the super rares just seem to hate me. Got a seven and a six. I think that's all that's here. Wait, did I see one up here? No. All right. Oh, wait, there's one. There we go. Yeah, the 22 Hornet is better. I do like the 22 Hornet more. Oh, bro, chill. Yeah, the 308 AR is very good. I was actually really surprised they made the 308 that good. Like, the 308 is the one exception in Call of the Wild. Most rifles in the game are very underpowered, but they made the 308 like way more powerful than it would be in real life. Like the fact that it does better, I mean, well, not really better. It's supposed to do better, but it's right on par with the 30 out 6. And in real life, 308 would be a little bit lower performance than a 30 out 6 would. Now we're just not going to even worry about those two. They're floating. They're going to be here in like a year. I've already done a face reveal, Jaquis. I've done probably 30 videos or so with face cam and probably like at least 15 or 20 streams with it. It's just not for me. I've uh, had pretty heavy anxiety my entire life and being on camera for a couple hours at a time is just, it's not for me. It's not my thing. Did they change the red to your zone time? Yes, it's at 6.30 in the morning now. I start mine at seven because I feel like seven is a little bit more consistent with your deer being there quickly. Oh, yeah, there you go, Sam. <laughs> That's true. That is my face right there. It's a very close-up squished version of my face, but there you go. There's my face reveal. <laughs> Amazing. Is a mixed feral goat diamond any good? Yes, that is insane, Laser. That's a, that's a super rare, actually. Uh, mixed is a rare for feral goats, so that is a super rare. Yeah, definitely, Osgard. I do think it is kind of strange that polytips are really the only viable way to go. I mean, I can't Im I can't even think of a time where I've used anything but a soft point uh, in real life. I'm pretty sure every single time I've gone hunting, I've carried soft points with me. Welcome back, T-Rex. Yeah, I don't understand that either, Johnny. Uh, the 6.5 is kind of underpowered in the game, and it's at a very weird class too, like for its amount of power, 4 to 8 is kind of strange. It definitely needs to be a 3 to 7. Alright, so nothing at this zone this time around. Uh, we'll probably check this like next run. I think we'll do one more run without it. Yeah, exactly, Collide, exactly. I really think they should go with more of like a the Hunter Classic style weapon system in Call of the Wild. I think it would have been better. A six, a seven, we've got a five, a six, a seven, a seven, and a six. Okay, there's actually a good amount of stags here this time. None of them are super insane, but... Oh, there's one more. Is that a four? Yeah, it's our four. Where did that seven go? Oh, well. Uh, this is Tiaboroa, Tyler. Tiaboroa is a New Zealand-based map. Absolutely love it. One of my favorite maps in the whole game. Uh, especially for Red Deer. This map is insane for Red Deer. Uh, no, Dylan. They didn't used to be rare for a while. They were an uncommon. And then they recently, with the Mississippi update, made them rare. But they didn't used to be. I got a mixed diamond a while back uh, before they were rare. They used to be an uncommon. Am I good at math? Uh, I mean, math was my worst subject always, but I guess even at math, I wasn't terrible. I always scored like 70%. What gun am I using? 300 Magnum. It's uh, technically too big for Red Deer, but it gets them down quicker, so I use it. 
Because uh, for me, speed is the most important. Okay, we need to take him down. Uh, yes, Aiden, there is a fabled piebald whitetail. It's only for great ones, though. Only the great one whitetail can be a fabled piebald. Okay, he's behind a tree. We can maybe... Oh, there we go. I was going to say we could butt shot him, but seems like he did move. Wow, only one good stag over there this time. Must be one of the other zones. I'm going to see a fabled Mela. That would be cool, like a different variation of Melanistic. That hat technology is through the room. <laughs> I, that's right, I did have a hat on during my face reveal. I think it was because my hair was annoying me. What about an albino great one? Um, LC actually got one of those. LC is uh, one of the big grinders in the Call of the Wild community, and he got a albino great one whitetail. He also has been, I think, the only person to get two great one red deer to spawn side by side in the exact same run, which is pretty absurd. Like, getting two great ones to spawn off the same run? Like, it's one thing to stack them. That's already insane. But then, getting two to spawn in the same run? Just absolutely unheard of. I'm curious if anybody else has spawned two great ones in one run. I know I've seen quite a few people spawn them like within maybe a hundred kills of each other, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody else spawn two at the same time. Like that is just insane. Honestly, LC should buy a lottery ticket at this point. An albino great one and two red deer side by side. Pretty crazy. Uh, all right, we're not gonna get that last seven from over here. Uh, we can go over here though. If I could ever click on the tent. Nice, Caleb. That's crazy. Yeah, same, I buy. I haven't seen anybody spawn two at the same time besides him. It's pretty crazy. Like, stacking, like I was saying, stacking is already, like, a, a crazy thing to be able to do. Which, it's insane that you managed to get two black bear, like, within a couple hundred kills of each other or whatever it was. I couldn't even imagine if you had, like, two bear great ones spawn at the same time. That would just be... Next level. Just spawned two Red Deer Great Ones in the same run yesterday. Had no idea it was that rare. Oh, really? That's crazy, dude. That is crazy. I think the thing that really made LCs wild, though, is they spawned side by side. Like, what are the odds of that? It's got to be so low. 114 kills. Yeah, that's nuts. That is crazy. I, th I don't think I could even think of anything that I've done that would even compare to that except maybe the double initial spawn having two initial spawn whitetail is still pretty lucky I'd say though it's not as rewarding feeling at a nine and a ten black bear near each other nice Kaylee nice I believe I had a legendary red deer across from one of my great one red deer. I think at least. Okay, I think it is time to main menu real quickly. Hey, Paul, how's it going, dude? Glad to see you. Glad you can make the stream. Now we'll check here. Yeah, that is pretty crazy, Choke. Getting a, a great one in multiplayer is pretty wild. I almost had one in multiplayer, but it was during the time where they were bugged in multiplayer, so it just showed up as a level 3 with a level 1's rack, so that was pretty depressing to see. I remember I didn't even notice it until I started editing the video. I was editing the video and I was like, wait a minute, that deer that I missed the shot on was a bugged great one. One of the few times where I was very happy I missed that shot. Because otherwise, it would have just been a complete waste of somebody's great one. Though, I imagine somebody else that was on that server probably ended up getting it eventually, which is uh, very unfortunate to think about for whoever was hosting that map. Most likely, somebody else probably killed it. Come on, man. Like... <laughs> Uh, when is this next great one going to spawn? 
When is he gonna spawn? Whoa, buddy, stop turning around. Dude. Really? Uh, yeah, Crimson, I play other games. I've played quite a bit of Escape from Tarkov in the past. I think, honestly, I think I have more hours in Tarkov than I do Call of the Wild, and I've been playing it for less, uh, years. Ah, they're traveling. Why? Why are they traveling? That's so weird. Well. He moved right as I took the shot. Well, we got a few of them. Oh yeah, Paul, I'm so excited, man. Like, I have been having a ton of fun with Way of the Hunter. Like, it has been a real pleasure to play that game. I cannot wait to show it to you guys. It's definitely a very unique hunting experience, I can tell you that. It is so unique and a ton of fun. Yeah, Mark, that was the main reason I started making my streams a little bit earlier. Because I, I, I realized that there was a lot of people from uh, Europe that wanted to watch the streams but couldn't. And earlier in the morning like this was working better for me, so... In the end, I just decided 10 a.m. streams would be better than my previous, like, 2 p.m. streams. I mean, my daughter wakes me up at, like, 7 in the morning anyway, so why not stream earlier than I used to, right? And that's, uh, that's why we switched the schedule around. It just worked better for me, and it worked better for everybody in the EU as well. Let's see if that mythical's back. I'd like to take him down this run, but... Looks like he's not going to let us. Should do a Bigfoot stream? We'll do Bigfoot again at some point. Bigfoot's a lot of fun. Oh gosh, Log, that's rough, man. Hopefully you'll find it soon. Um, if you're still in here, Ibai, what's the longest it took you to get a great one? I think at this point, I'm currently on the longest grind I've ever been on. I'm pretty sure this is the longest grind I've been on, which is, uh, like 4,100 kills since our last Great One Red Deer. Pretty sure all my other grinds have been sub 4,000. Seventeen k for your first Red Deer Chope. Gosh, dude. That's wild. 6.5k for Black Bear, but did have a 7.1k for Red Deer. Oh, man. I sure hope I don't have to wait 7.1k for this one. Yeah, that's a that's a long time without a great one. I feel like a lot of people average two to 4,000. It seems like if you don't get it within 500, it's usually like two to 4,000 for a lot of people. 7.1 is wild. 6.2, gotcha, okay. And then your next two bears, just like, bam, bam. All the Wild's got a funny way of, like, just suddenly, randomly changing your RNG drastically. It's over 6k without a great one, and then, like, three of them spawning within, like, what? Another 1,000 or 1,500? That is some crazy, like, turn of events. We did it again! Between the lungs. Thank you, Call of the Wild. Love it. <laughs> or no, we hits one of maybe? I don't know what we hit. Maybe vertebrae. Maybe single lung. I don't think it was single lung. Wow, that's crazy. 131 for one of your red deer. Yeah, I guess it, I guess the quick ones do kind of average out the kills a bit. 
Let's see. Right now we have two great one red deer in just over 10,000 kills. Because I got my first one at 3,000 kills. And then I had 3,000 more kills. Then the update happened, which reset everything and changed uh, everything we know about the maps. And then it took 650 more to get the second great one red deer. And now it's been just over 4,000 since that one. Will the angler be on PS4? I believe so, Lefty. I believe so. I, I could be wrong, but I think it is. Oh, there we go, Legendary. Another wasted chance at a super rare. What rifle should you get for Whitetail? Either the M1 or the 308, I would recommend. They're both very solid for them. Uh, the 308 does have some slight accuracy issues at the moment at like 250 plus meters. It will shoot a little bit to the right at those ranges. Finally got him down. Took a little bit longer than I would have liked. Whoa, rocket deer. All right, I think we got them. A uh, maybe axis though. I've seen a lot of people get them very quick this update. I think honestly the great one's still just RNG. I don't think there is any, I don't think they made any changes. And if I'm being honest, uh, back during Rancho, when everybody thought that great ones were spawning more often than normal and easier than normal, I still don't believe that. I don't think they've ever changed the great one. Even when they said that they adjusted the spawn rate, I don't think they actually did because I didn't see any changes. I think when Rancho first came out, there was just so much hype around Great Ones being fixed that obviously there was thousands of people grinding for the Great Ones, so naturally you'd see a ton of them show up. And I think that a lot of people just jumped the gun and thought, oh, we're seeing lots of Great Ones, they must have increased the spawns. No, I, I, I really still just don't think they ever did. I don't think there was ever a bug with spawn rates of Great Ones during Rancho time. I, I just don't think there was. 258.70, that's another big one, man. Another big mid-rack. These mid-racks rarely break 256. Another nice one. Let's add that to the count real quick. 165 diamond red deer over the course of the last 5,000 kills. Or 4,000 kills. Absolutely absurd. Did we get them all? I think there's one more to claim. Yeah, right here. Yeah, same, I buy. I just, even during the time where EW said that there was an issue causing them to spawn more after Rancho, to be honest, I think that was just to get everybody to stop complaining about it. I don't think there ever was a bug that was making them spawn more. Because, like, myself, Ron McTube, Mel, like, we were all killing tons of Whitetail during that time, and, like, after my first great one, it still took thousands to get my next one. I don't think there ever was a bug. I think it was just there was tons of people playing at the time and it caused more to show up because there was thousands of people grinding for the great one on Rancho. I knew tons of people that had killed thousands that update without getting anything. I really feel like during that time it was just to just to make everybody stop complaining about it and that's why they said that they fixed a great one spawn rate or whatever. And I definitely don't think that there's any over-spawning or under-spawning of Great Ones right now. I've seen so many people get it in 500 this update, and I've also seen so many people get it in like 5,000, so... I think as always, it's just a pretty random thing that you can never predict. What weapon pack is the gun that I'm using from? It's actually from the Yukon Valley DLC. The 300 Magnum is from Yukon Valley. Oh, I should probably... Okay, we already reloaded that. Whenever I do that quick switch, I gotta switch back and rechamber around because 
Uh, when you quick switch, it doesn't actually chamber in the next round until you re-equip the rifle. Nothing here, really? All right, then. Uh, that honestly makes me feel like there's probably a stag here. There's probably a couple that have moved back to that lake. Yeah, Chope, definitely, man. Definitely. Have I ever harvested a rare fur minimum weight? Sadly, no. Gil Clint is very lucky to get that minimum weight uh, piebald red deer. Probably one of the most absurd trophies I've seen. I don't think I've even come close to eating a minimum weight rare. I've got some minimum weights before, but not with a rare fur type. Before you got your first great one, did it feel impossible? Yes, it did, Log. Um, when I got my first great one, I was 3,750 kills into it. And I had already got one bugged great one during that process. So it did feel kind of hopeless. I didn't think I was ever going to get it. But if you keep grinding, eventually you will get it. And sometimes all it takes is just switching up your tactics a little bit. I've had so many times where, like, all I had to do was switch up the way I was hunting and I started seeing more diamonds, rares, and... It made it more enjoyable to finish off the grind towards the Great One. So if you're ever losing hope... Maybe switch up your tactics a little bit. Try something new with the grind. And obviously, uh, remember that you don't have to just hunt for the Great One. You can take breaks and hunt other stuff as well if you get tired of it. I knew there'd be some deer here. Anytime the zones dry up, it's always because there's something here. There we go. Finally got the last shot into him that actually took him out. Amazing. Or if you're losing hope, watch Crow's streams. I mean, I guess, I guess it could give you some motivation seeing all the diamonds. I mean, I'm just glad that I finally have a video out like explaining how to get the red deer herds to actually be good. At least now I've got like a video to reference. Every time something crazy happens and we get questions about how to do herd management and stuff. I think really the only thing I didn't cover in that video was stacking. But to be honest, I don't think stacking is really anything that you need to do for a grind. I think stacking is just like a fun way to mix it up. Um, have you tried hunting different lakes, Log the Kill? I mean, 20 shooters is about all you're gonna get, to be honest. That's really all I have, and I just continue to reset the game, or not reset the game, but I go to the main menu after killing all of them, and then just jump back in and hunt those same 20. That's really the way that you want the grind to be, to be honest. You want it to be a small amount of really good stags that you're farming. And I mean, I think iBuy is a living proof of that being the case, especially with Black Bear. I believe last, last time I hopped into a stream, I think he was farming just like two zones. Just like two or three zones with maybe 20 bears, 15 or 20 of them. And still getting tons of nines and stuff, so you don't need a lot of zones. If anything, you want a lot of your lakes to become irrelevant. That's what I've done with... The Pukimaro Lakes and the Rotanui Lakes. I've got these to where it's pretty much just fours and below. That way I don't have to worry about them. Hmm. Level five. Hey, Lewis, how's it going, dude? Could you do that method with Red Fox? You could, but it would be very hard. Uh, Red Fox don't have a lot of uh, them on the map in general, so... I could imagine it'd be difficult to get the red fox to that point, but it's definitely possible. It would just take a lot longer than it would with red deer. Red deer are probably the easiest to manage because of how many there is and just how condensed their locations are. Like, you really don't need to hunt a lot of locations on Tiaboroa to get a ton of red deer. They're so densely populated at so many of the lakes that it just makes things so easy. Uh, to 1026, we need to... Reset the time.
Uh, what do you mean, Henry? Oh, best advice for getting around the map faster. Uh, proper tent placement, really. Like, the, the more you get your tents placed in, like, the most prime locations, it'll definitely speed up getting around the map. And kind of as you go in your grind and you eliminate some maps from your grind, that's less places you have to visit, so you can dedicate more tents to the good spots. I cover a lot of that in the guide I posted the other day, so... I would recommend checking that out if you haven't. It'll probably give you a lot of information that'll be helpful. Nice, Hudson. Starting to get going in that grind, it seems. And we're getting that uh, spotting bug again. It's not showing the outline. Um, there's a bug with the counters, uh, Caleb. So the codex has always been kind of weird. There are some times where it does not count your diamonds or your great ones or your gold, silvers, etc. Uh, the codex is kind of, uh, it's, it's not accurate. It's not a good way to keep track of things. If you really want to keep track of things, I would get them wrote down somewhere. Uh, plus there's been plenty of bugs throughout the years that have kind of messed up the codex, so... I wouldn't pay too much attention to what the codex says. It's not super accurate. He's got the 300. Nice, Crayfish. Nice. That's going to make your life so much easier. That's really strange, Landon. I can't say I've heard of that bug at all. That's very weird. Nice, Aiden. Those numbers will go up if you're uh, using the herd management. You will get larger amounts of level nines. The more you grind, the more you like cultivate your herds, the, the better things will be. Uh, not sure, Dylan. I play on PC, so I don't really have too much knowledge on how to do things on Xbox. Hey, he darted off really quick. I think that was the only two shooters this time around. Just got a minimum weight moose. Nice, Tim. Those are pretty rare. Really anything minimum weight is rare. Where'd the other one go? It's further up here, right? I think it's farther up in this direction. Yeah, right there. Uh, to be honest, I probably should have grabbed that one first. Uh, yeah, Nate, you missed uh, 17 diamonds and 5 trolls. How many nines do you think I should stack before killing them off? Um, I mean, if you're trying to just stack a bunch of nines, I just go until you get tired of seeing them. Like, stack as many of them as you can until you feel like taking them out. Three hundred rounds are expensive. They are, but you can make that money back pretty quickly. I mean, if I buy 10 boxes of 300 ammo, and I kill a red deer with each of them, you know, that's over 100k in cash. Uh, no, Marcus. Legendary is the highest uh, rating besides the level 10 Fabled. Take him out, Clager. Take that Melanistic out. Uh, Melanistics and just rares in general don't really influence any of the spawns on your map, so I just take it out as you see it. Hey, Brax, how's it going, man? Why don't I use the Mosin on Class 3? Uh, I've had issues with it in the past with it being inaccurate at long range, so I just trust the 243 more. Plus, the 243 covers Class 2 as well, so I just carry that with me. I find that uh, carrying the 243 is a little bit more... 
I don't know. It just makes more sense to me because it covers a wider range of animals. Uh, we're currently over here, Hudson. So uh, these are the two main zones we've been hunting that have a ton of red deer. Uh, this is the lake we just left. Nine red deer in front of me. Nice border. Nice hunt. Glad that one of them was a diamond for you. Ah, you sneaky little five. You thought you could uh, change lakes on me. Nope. You have so many mellows though. Wow. What a flex, Clayger. I'm here just struggling to get melanistic red deer. <laughs> I mean, I can't really guess the score of a red deer without seeing the rack porter. Because, like, there's a. Uh, there's like five different level nine racks, so. It, it would be impossible for me to guess the score without seeing the rack. There's the big rack, there's the small rack that looks almost identical. Then there's a mid rack that looks like the small and big rack, but only has like one tiny difference. Then there's the other mid rack that looks completely different. And then we've got the troll rack as well. There's a lot of red deer racks, so without seeing it, I can't really guess the score. Hey Archie, it's uh, going just as I expected. <laughs> 17 diamonds, five trolls. No super rares. So, you know, it's been a crazy day, but not for super rares. Also, we're getting the spotting bug a ton today, which is annoying. It's not highlighting things unless I'm using my scope. I feel like this only happens on Tiawaroa. I've never seen it happen to any other map. Ooh, that's unfortunate, Benjamin. That's pretty rough luck. I do feel like albinos might be more rare this update, though. I have yet to see an albino since the first... Like, since before our last great one. Last time I got an albino was, like, maybe two or 300 kills before that last great one. So it's been over 40, 300 kills since the last albino. That's insane. Albinos used to be decently easy to get. They used to be pretty much the same as a piebald, I feel, and now it's, like, impossible to find an albino. A 9148 Mellow Red Deer? Holy, what a giant. What an absolute monster. I mean, I suppose it depends on the server you get on Spicy Tube, because everybody's map is a little different. There's a 9. Another legend legendary. That's a big boy, too. 261 to 307. That's a good one. That is a big male. Oh, I hate this spotting glitch. I wonder what causes it. Like whatever causes it, it's annoying. Whoa, lost breath right as I shot. Luckily, we managed to recover that pretty quickly. Ooh. What a death animation. That dude got absolutely dropped. My dude got absolutely smoked. Ooh, nice, Brax. That's a good one, dude. That's a really good one. Where is this other one? Nice Clay Drew, let me know if you get anything good out of that. Oh, it does Sam, must be a, a, a rough uh, work shift then. I would love that, Gaiden. I'd love to have more variety with uh, customization on the weapons. This guy looks big. 
Oh, 270 again. Another 270. That's two on the day. Wow, that is lucky. Two 270 scoring stags in one day, guys. That's insane. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Another 270. That is our fifth 270 since we started doing herd management. Like, my entire main room in my lodge is going to be 270 scoring stags. Should have used the 270. I know, right? What a beauty. Absolute tank of a red deer. Glad you didn't almost botch this one. I know, right? <laughs> Knowing me, I would have. If I wasn't, uh, like, consciously thinking of it. Jeez, Clayger, that's crazy, dude. Surprised you haven't got a, a big level 9 like that. It really is, I buy. Herd management gets you the big males. I have seen, like, so many max weight red deer since doing this. I never used to see so many max weights until herd management. Better update the diamonds. So that's diamond number 18 of the day. 18 diamonds, 5 trolls. That is insane. Given 17 of those were stacked, but still. Crazy to take them all out in one day. Even crazier that we have yet to get a rare respawn. At all today. Just uh, speed up the dying process of that guy a little bit. To be honest, Johnny, I wouldn't mind it if they changed the respawn system. I do feel like it wouldn't be bad if they improved the system. I think it's cool the way it is, though. But I wouldn't be against it if they redid the system. I mean, even from the beginning of playing this game, I always wished it was a little more realistic. But uh, I do enjoy this type of gameplay as well. Just like grinding for great ones and seeing tons of diamonds. I think both are fun. Uh, yeah, yo, it is. Uh, 270 is massive for a red deer. If you can break 270 on red deer, then that is a giant. I've actually been relatively lucky with getting 270 red deer. Most people don't have five of them. But then again, I guess most people aren't as insane as me when it comes to my addiction to red deer. <laughs> Red deer have always been my favorite animal in the game, so I've always spent so much time hunting them. Dude, we still got a little friend right there. Aw, poor little dude can't get out of there. Working as intended. Uh, what do we want to name this guy? I mean, at this point, we got to give him a name, right? Ooh, that was, that was weird. How you doing, buddy? You having fun? Did I, uh, did I put this tent in your way? You know, if he wasn't, oh, there he goes. If it wasn't a level three, I'd just 360 it, but I don't want to kill a level three. <laughs> I like having lots of threes on my map. Coleman. <laughs> Freddy Cougar. <laughs> Speedy. John. Harold. Jeff. Dirk. Jerry. Hmm. Lots of good names. I mean, we named our last level three Gerald and then uh, saved him the entire grind. We got to find at least one that we can name and just leave on our map. I'll keep uh, looking out in chat for names, so let me know what you guys think we should name him. We'll uh, we'll name that little level three. You know, 
We've got some level twos on the map, but we'll name a three instead. Seven, though, I do believe we visited this lake first, so we haven't reset the, we haven't gone to the main menu since our last run through here, so we'll do that real quick. Seeing lots of, lots of good names. Flinter. <laughs> no, I'll name the level two Flinter. We can name the level two Flinter. The smallest male of them all. <laughs> Carneth the Destroyer of Worlds. <laughs> My gosh, Sam, that's beautiful. Mason, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Demetrius? Maybe. Oh my gosh, I know. Okay, so if I'm assuming that you guys know are uh, into like UFC and like I'm sure some of you have seen UFC and like the different fighting uh organizations. You guys know uh who Demetrius Mighty Mouse is? I'm sure some of you have heard that name. I can't remember if he was in the UFC or if he was in one of the other ones, but I remember him from when I was growing up because my dad always used to watch the different fights. But uh, let's name let's name that level three Mighty Mouse. Let's name him Mighty Mouse because he's a he's a small male, but he's got some fight in him, you know. He's a survivor. He gets to live while he watches all of his friends die. What happened to Way of the Hunter? Um, well, I've got early access with it right now, uh, Snipper. And at some point, whenever I'm allowed to, I will post the videos. And you guys will get to see a first look at it. Nothing's happened with it besides it being very close to release date. Oh, don't you dare float. Come on. Nope. Nope. Didn't work. <sighs> Gotta love the floaters. Gotta love it. Uh, my favorite part of Call of the Wild, actually, is waiting for floaters. Hey, plus we killed... 18 or was it 17? I think it was 18. We killed 18 diamonds and five trolls so far Two of those diamonds were 270 scoring. So it's been a good day We killed off all those stacked nines sadly didn't get any good response from it But the fact that we've got two 70s in, or two two seventies in the process is Fine by me like I'm I'm happy with that as long as I can get some two seventies or some good rares or a great one then I'm pretty happy. What do you guys think will happen first? Filling my, uh, filling my main red deer room in my main lodge with nothing but 270 stags or getting a super rare? Which, which do you think will happen first? I'm kind of thinking a room of 270s is going to be more plausible than getting a super rare with my luck. Considering we've had two troll legendary piebalds. But we got five 270 red deer. I feel like we will fill all eight of those plaques first with 270 plus red deer. A great one, super rare. I, I wish that was possible with red deer, but they don't have any rare fur types for the great one. Just the white tail has rare fur types. You shall make a red deer lodge with every diamond you get. They can be under 270. I've actually got an entire lodge of red deer already. I just haven't put all of them up, but I do have enough red deer to fill a lodge. That's why I stopped taxing them, actually, because I had already got enough to fill a lodge. Have you done a setup reveal? Not really. I mean, I've shown some of my setup during my... Uh, 
50k celebration week that we did a couple months ago. Uh, when we hit 50k subs, I did five five-hour streams on various games with face cam. And I think in that one, I kind of showed some of my setup because obviously you can see my microphone. You can see the uh, shelf behind me with all of the uh, Pokemon stuff. So I've shown off part of my setup. Pretty sure I showed off my like keyboard and mouse in that as well. But my setup's not really anything too special. Maybe one of these days I'll do a setup reveal. Actually, no, I have done one. I posted a video in the Discord of my setup at one point. I don't know what channel I posted it in, but it's somewhere in the Discord. I think I've changed a couple things since then, though, but not a lot. I think most of it's still the same. So, I mean, if you guys can find it in the Discord, it's somewhere in there. No clue where, though. How do you become a member? With that big blue join button, uh, Hunting Man. Or through the link in the chat right now. Memberships start at 99 cents a month. And it gives you access to all of the emotes and uh, the ability to use commands in the chat. Access to some extra channels in the Discord. And a few uh, extra videos on the channel as well. Neither of those were good. I think we hit spine twice. I guess I misjudged the range. Cold coffee? You're right, Archie. I, I do have some cold coffee right now. Also, how's it going, Archie? I can't remember if I said hi or not. I know you've been in chat uh, off and on all day, but I can't remember if I said hi. So, how's it going? That's a four. Oh no, Sam, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> you gotta be careful over there, man. You gotta be careful where you're going. That can end up being bad news. I mean, m most of the time you'll probably be fine, but <laughs> still gotta be careful, dude. Don't want Ruga to run up on you. That's a good mythical. And another good mythical. And another good mythical. Okay, this is definitely the lake where they're all coming back to. And another good mythical. Gosh, why so many troll rack mythicals? That's insane. That is so many. <laughs> that is a lot of big mythicals. How do you become a member? I already answered you, Hunting Man. I, I I don't know if you were not listening or what, but I already answered you on how to do that. And uh, like two people in the chat answered you as well, so I'm just going to assume that you weren't listening. We got two level fours here as well, so we're getting some more fours to spawn too. Uh, Jen, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you've been having a fantastic day and enjoying the stream. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, Sam. <laughs> Spent the whole day on call with friends and now I'm grinding red deer. Found that I'm having the most fun grinding them during the stream. Nice, Archie. That's awesome. They're a lot of fun. Ooh, diamond. Another wasted chance of Uh, dude. <laughs> Two missed opportunities for a super rare, again. Love to see it though, two legendaries side by side. Let's, uh, let's get them down. Oh no. Oh, that poor thing. He just got double tapped. He just got double tapped. When a four are at the lake, what do you do? Uh, you leave them, Porter. Don't shoot the fours. Don't shoot the fours, the threes, or the twos, no matter how many you see. Um, what I did when I started seeing nothing but fours at my lakes is I hunted new lakes. If your lakes become just fours, abandon those lakes and find new ones that have shootable stags. I have had to change my tent and tripod setup so much during this grind. 
You gotta be ready to move around a lot with this grind. And honestly, that's with any grind that you're doing herd management on. Be ready to move around because you will have to change things from time to time. Uh, we definitely missed some stags, right? Maybe not. Maybe we got them all. Thank you, Julie. I'm glad you enjoy the uh, streams. Glad to hear you like them. Well, we'll get this other diamond next run, I guess. Ashley, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. You are now member number 267. Uh, enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emails, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels, once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to all my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate the support. First grinding session was a doozy. Got about 85 stags. Time to sit back and enjoy the stream. Nice, crayfish. Sounds like you're making some progress, man. Let's see, did we uh, butcher this thing? I think we might have brain shot it, not gonna lie. I think that accidental hit was a brain shot. Oof. <laughs> no, it was vertebrae, okay. We're good. Though, a small one regardless, so we'll just move along. Uh, it's diamond number 167 of this grind and 209 overall. Now, back to square one. Let's, uh, main menu. <laughs> Pretty much elements. Why do you do the main menu thing? Because it not only will... Like, let's say there's a few stags that you didn't claim because they ran off really far. It'll cause those to respawn. And also, when you go to the main menu, it gets rid of any spook state that any of them have. So if there was some spooked animals that weren't coming back to their zone, it'll basically return them back to calm, and they will head back to the location that they were previously drinking at. And it also just kind of speeds up the process of the respawns running to their lakes. Like, it almost like forces them to the lakes they were meant to be at. That's why we do it. Alright, let's uh go back here. Happy birthday, Roman. Uh, well, why weren't you able to chat, Evan? Were you, uh, by any chance disobeying the rules in chat? Because that would probably be a reason that you couldn't chat. And if so, I'm curious what you did. Following Caitlyn or twins? Something like that. <laughs> hey, Super Uwu, how's it going? <laughs> Heading to work? All right, later. Thank you for dropping in. I know Brax is crazy. It does feel like we were just at 200. We've had some very generous people come through and gift some memberships. And then uh, we've also just been gaining a lot of uh, just members in general. I've been kind of blown away at how fast it's gone up. But what's crazy is if we hit 300, we can get another emote slot, which will be just absurd to have that many emotes available to us. And I wouldn't be surprised if Way of the Hunter will bring us to that uh, number. Gosh, this zone is loaded with mythicals and sevens this time around. Some good, good stags there. What's that one? That's a mythical as well. Jeez. Why can't these just come back as melanistics? Like, please. Just give us a rare. I've gone so long without a rare. Or I should say a good rare. Like, I haven't had a mythical or a legendary rare in a few days. Um, Necron Stick, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. You are now our 269th member. Nice. 
Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon and all the awesome emotes. Ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrapped content on the channel. Really appreciate that. Welcome. Welcome. As the Red Deer Slaughter continues. What was that, like seven stags at that one spot? That is awesome. Yeah, I made it as cheap as I possibly could, uh, Necron. I, I wanted the memberships to be affordable, but also give people the option to uh, do a higher tier if they wanted to. That's why I went with the 99 cent tier as the lowest, and then... I think it's like 525 and then for the people that just want to go like above and beyond, I have the $100 tier. But every little bit uh, helps, you know. It's just awesome to see so many green names in chat, so many people able to use the emotes. Very grateful for everybody that has decided to become a member, as it is uh, quite a massive help to the stream. Hey, Crazy Call of the Wild, you have missed, uh, let's see, what, 19 diamonds? 19 diamonds and five trolls and there's a, another diamond on our map that we uh, weren't able to get last run You missed a decent bit this time around uh, This is Tiabaroa Casey Tiabaroa is a gem of a map easily my favorite now The last update made this my favorite Uh, None at the moment Brax none at the moment. I've had one person do it in the past though, which was insane I've got a few at the uh, $25 tier though at the moment Which is also just crazy to see people uh, Becoming a member at that tier never even expected it Ooh, there we go nailed that shot Absolutely smoked him I don't see anything else that we can take down though. Archie, thank you for the 15 months. Holy. 15 months, dude. And Sam with the 18 months as a member as well. That is crazy. That is crazy. It's 15 and 18 months. You guys are getting really far up there. Can't wait till we start seeing a lot of the, the two year members in chat. That's gonna be wild. It's going to be crazy to see a bunch of the two-year badges. Uh, don't shoot the level two males, Raid. Uh, leave level two, three, and four. Oh, you're 17 months? Why does it say 18 then? I, I feel like they've always been one month ahead on YouTube memberships. Or maybe it shows you one month behind. Hard to say. Oh yeah, Archie, true, true. You did have those couple months where you weren't able to. Definitely would influence the, the number. I actually don't, Julie. I don't have a Leucistic K Buffalo. I killed one before Trophy Lodges, but since Lodges have been a thing, I haven't got one. Nice, Necron. Five minutes spam where my membership laughs because I got a new card. Ah, yeah, Sam. Yeah, definitely. You know what's strange? Like, I've I've seen a lot of people get issues with uh getting their cards to work with YouTube. I know Bubbles still can't renew his membership because uh for some reason his bank won't allow him to purchase anything on YouTube. It keeps saying that it, it just won't let him, it's declined. But it only does it with YouTube. It's strange. I think YouTube's just a little finicky with the, uh, with credit cards. Was hard to stay motivated during your first Great One grind? I'm finding it to be. It was a little bit, Nolan. Uh, during the first Whitetail grind, I had to do it on Layton. 
And yeah, that was, uh, it was tough to keep going because Layton is not a great whitetail map for the most part. I've heard it's got better this update, but back then it was so, so tedious and inconsistent to grind on, uh, Layton. Rancho made it much more enjoyable, but my gosh, old Layton was so rough to try and grind on. Just as bad as, uh, grinding Black Bear, to be honest. Or went out for the homie Bubbles, I know, man. Poor Bubbles. He's been trying to become a member again for like the last three months, and it keeps just it keeps just telling him he can't. Which is unfortunate, because he was almost at two years as a member. He was getting close to that two-year badge, and then YouTube just completely wrecks him. YouTube just gives him the old slap. Pick a number 5 to 15, it's very important for my red deer. Uh, 12? I, I mean, it's gotta be 12, right? We gotta go with 12. Yeah, for me it was awful, Benjamin. My white tail moved constantly on old Layton. It just got so, uh, so annoying to constantly have to find where they moved to. I think that's why I don't enjoy the black bear grind, because they're constantly moving, they're always late to their zones. It just makes it not fun for me. Where did that mythical go? Did we not get it vitally? Of course. Alright, let's leave him. Not gonna worry about it. Uh, not sure, Sam. I don't know who's got the, uh, longest membership. I think it's David. I think David and... Bubbles was up there. I know David is for sure. Uh, Squish is pretty high up there. There's a few people that are past the 24 months mark. Uh, Hunter Smith 25, thank you for becoming our 270th member. Really appreciate it, dude. Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon and all the awesome emails. Ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it, dude. That's unfortunate, Hudson. Enjoyed it more than Rancho? Really, Benjamin? I didn't, like... I love Rancho grinding. Rancho has always been my favorite for Whitetail. And I maybe it's just because I had such a rough grind my first time around on Layton. But I just can't get into hunting Layton for Whitetail. Another big mythical. We're getting tons of these big mythicals this run. Great one, please. Yes, yeah, same, uh, Space Cadet. That was one of the problems I had with it as well. Layton is very brushy. I think it's more of them showing up late for me for Black Bear. Oh, yeah, definitely. They show up late like crazy for me. They show up late. They move so much to where like I can't efficiently set up all my tents the way that I'd like to. I like to have claiming tents at every zone I use. And with the Black Bear, I just can't do that with all my zones because they are so spread out. Like, even with herd management, they were still being mad inconsistent for me. Nice, Epic Pro. Can an 8 be a diamond? Technically, yes, but I've never seen anybody do it. Apparently, there's been one or two mythical diamonds over the years, but that's been it. There's only been a couple ever seen. So the chances of ever finding one are so minuscule that it's probably not even worth uh, looking for. Mason, thank you for the super chat. You think next Whitetail Grand will be Rev on Thule? Possibly. I haven't decided if I'm going to do Rev on Thule or Rancho. I'm going to do one of those maps for my next Great One Grind, though. I'm going to have to go on both of them and kind of scout out my whitetail herd, see how it is. And then kind of decide from there. We'll base it off of what our herds are looking like. 
Max weight red. Nice bird dog. Nice dude. Come on. Just show us the super rares. Uh oh. That was not a good shot. That was not a good shot either. Okay, we're gonna probably just ignore those ones then. All right, finally, we can take out this next one. Finally can take out this other level nine. Should be just chilling over here. Somewhere. That's definitely not him. That is not him either. That's him. How far is that? 280? There we go. Oh, really, Johnny? That's crazy cheap. That's crazy cheap. I mean, at that price, they're probably banking on a lot of people buying it. Because that's very cheap. I mean, didn't they say that the budget for ultimate hunting is like 1 million? So they'd have to have a lot of people buy it at $20 to make their money back. Unless they're going to... Unless they're going to focus on DLCs being a way they make their money. 267. It's tax worthy. I did say 267 plus I would tax. That guy is uh, definitely a taxer. Well, that's our 20th diamond of the day. That's quite an insane uh, stream, I'd say. 12 of those diamonds were stacked. Eight of them spawned after. And then we also had the five trolls. Yeah, no supers yet, somehow. Also, talk about a clutch shot. <laughs> I was hoping we'd hit neck there. I didn't know if we would or not, but I was just praying we would and we did. All right, well, I think on that note, we will probably end it now. Um, uh, first, uh, Lexi, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. That's a super kind of you. It's Onalik TV made a new YouTube to post on. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate the super chat. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it there. 20 diamonds and five trolls on the day. Pretty crazy. Definitely one of the most insane streams we've had diamond-wise because of all those stacked ones. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and continue editing some Way of the Hunter stuff and get ready for when I can post it. And then uh, try to get a video for Call of the Wild tomorrow as well. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all 